This is Brad Clayton with the February 2020 Puzzle Duck Golf Thought of the Month. Thank you very much for watching. We are on Leap Day. Waited till Leap Day to do this Thought of the Month. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do that. We don't get that uh, every year, obviously, because uh, it's called Leap Year. Hope everyone is uh, looking forward to a big spring and summer, playing a lot of golf. We've got some big tournaments coming up, the uh, Masters. We got the PGA Championship, which we switched this year to the springtime rather than in the fall, which normally it is, uh, which is going to be kind of an exciting uh, adjustment. Looking forward to seeing that as well. We're going to talk today uh, about footwork. If you've ever watched my videos, you know that I'm a big footwork person and really enjoy to see your footwork in a good balanced uh, action. Last month we talked about it. This month I'm going to give you a little bit of a drill, something very simple to help you feel getting your weight from your backside to your forward side without doing something that I call a spin or a flare out. And that is that when some people tend to swing and they use their upper body too much to hit a shot, they'll spin off their back foot, the weight will still be there, the heel will flare out and spin around making a circle. I like to see your back heel make a nice straight line pushing into the forward foot so that you're actually driving into your forward leg to put a pressure into that forward leg. If you look at it from this view, you'll see I'm back and you'll see my right heel or my back heel push in in a straight line up until a vertical position is achieved. If you tend to use your upper body, swing too hard from the top, and use to have too much weight on the back foot, your heel will flare, flip out, and the weight will stay back on that foot, which throws the club typically out steep down and across the golf ball. So if you can work on your footwork and get that back heel to push in into the target, more in into the target, that'll transfer your weight forward much more effectively, more aggressively, and more efficiently to get you through the golf ball. A simple drill you can pick up. I just happen to have a Gatorade bottle. There's a Febreze bottle there. It doesn't matter what you use. You can set that down, put your back heel up to that bottle until it's actually touching, make a golf swing back and through, but do not move the bottle. Don't let the bottle knock over and, and fall backwards. So if I actually flared, you could see that that would be quite a disturbance for the, for the bottle. I want to see that push in and away from that bottle so that you don't disturb it. Good little simple thing to do. You can use a bottle of water. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, anything to just put there and feel. And initially, automatically, you're going to push away from it a little bit better. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me at Brad at PuzzleDuckGolf.com. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, the book is available at the website, PuzzleDuckGolf.com. Uh, you can also shoot me an email with any questions or further suggestions for the thought of the months to come. Have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you in the February, March. We're looking at March, thought of the month coming up. And uh, have a great day.